Satellite Love. We're just kind of sitting around waiting for Tom Servo. Wait for Tom. Man, where the heck is that guy anyway? And what's he up to? What's I don't know. He to? said he had something to show us. Oh, oh boy, I can hardly wait. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, pretty oh. impressive, eh, folks? I tell you, I feel like a new man. <laughs> I feel ill. I know what you're thinking. Cary Grant, right? I can see that. Sure, maybe a little touch of Seinfeld. <laughs> you know, I'm weighing several new career options, fellas. Politics, TV, news. <laughs> I'm even considering franchising the look. <laughs> maybe a series of infomercials. Hey, kids, you gotta get ahead. Get ahead! <laughs> get him! <laughs> Don't mess up the ham! <laughs> Uh, 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 I know what it is, Mike. You're threatened by my good looks. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 look. The, 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 the things are stuck. Sorry. I was alone with the world to tame. I was evil but feeling blue. Looking around, talking to clowns, never guessing that I'd find you. Working the fryer, I was never a crier. I had a void in the shape of you. Looking for love, hoping for evil. All I got was chicken cordon blue. But a bean, we're living in deep 13. Nobody knows what we mean. In the world with our heads in a swirl and it's key living in deep 13 thank you thank you thank you frankie folks at home mike little friends you're going to be seeing a lot of changes around here we're softening to reach a wider audience that's right and as the world is enchanted with our whimsy we'll slowly take over their minds what a hoot <laughs> <laughs> but first we need you guys to help out by writing your own theme songs you know to increase your share so go ahead give it a try <gasps> Oh, goody, 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 goody. Oh, can I go first, please, uh, no, guys? Boy. Can I go first, please, go. please? I've had my theme song ready since infancy. Now, finally, someone has the good sense to request it. <laughs> okay, if you're that eager to help Dr. Forrester, hey, I can't stop you. Okay, Campbell, I think that's starting to cut its place back. 
course well, there, there is. is. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was the end. I'm sorry about that. Bro, as long as we're stopped, bro, dive in. Theme song. What? Uh, uh, uh la, 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 crow. La, 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 uh, crow. La, 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 crow. That's it? Yeah. That's yeah. good. That's oh, good. Thank I you. liked it, especially that one part. <laughs> okay, Very Nelson, like let's hear it. Yeah. Oh, I don't have one. I can't. Ah, one. typical. <sighs> well, I'll save your bacon, Mike. <clears throat> Mike, my mama, Mike, my mama, Mike, 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 <laughs> and there it is. Uh, there's the theme songs. I uh, hope you like them. Mike, yes, Mike, Mike, yes, Mike, Mike, yes. Mike, those Mike, were good. Mike, 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 your movie this Mike, week Mike, is, Mike, Mama, Mama, well, Mike, Mama, Mama, bad. Mama, Mama, Mike, but it Mike, was written by Mama, Ed Wood, Mike, so Mike, get out your favorite Mike, pair of pumps Mike, and have a ball. Mama, 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 but first, Mama, Mama, Mike, there's Mike, a little Mike, short Mama, Mike, Mike, by my Mike, friends at Jam Mama, Handy, Mike, Mike, Frank Mike, Mama, Mama, Ed Wood. No! no! I am in horophobia! Potatoes. That little character was in Cats, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, you know, she's got a darling triangular figure. Wow, this is too titillating. Are we allowed to watch this? Oh, she's listening to her dehumidifier. Yes, teens dig lush orchestral arrangements. 12 o'clock, and time for the headlines of the latest news of the day. According to the latest bulletins... Ironing can be deadly. How's the sandwiches coming, Mom? Almost ready. They're so easy to do, even your dad can put them together and do a dandy broiling job on them. Dad kind of fancies himself quite a cook since we got our electric range, doesn't he? <laughs> mm-hmm, and he's pretty good at it, too. Let's have cocoa today. It'll just take a few seconds to heat up the milk. Okay, I'll be finished in half a sec. Mother! Your space curve! Wouldn't it be slick if we had an electric ironer? Like Sally's mother has. Of course it would. And I'm looking forward to having an electric dryer, too. Is she blind? Just think. <laughs> then we'd have a complete electric laundry. Wee! Huh? Wee? What? Oh, goodbye, old wash day. That's why the wee! Really, sweetie. Come on now, eat your lunch. You'll feel better. I feel fine. I think they're both trying way too hard. Yeah. Another lonely Thanksgiving. Um, oh, cling free. Mm. Mm. Oh. This tastes yummy. And all the fats are numbing my emotions. Mm. Mm. Oh, I just love bacon crisp and crunchy like this. Yeah, evidently. Hey, stop whooping your food. No one's going to take it away from you. Sorry, sweetie, but it's really your fault. You sure make them so good. Whatever happened to my pet Vietnamese pot bellied pig? <gasps> Mom, what's sex? Oh, I almost forgot. A letter from Bob. Another letter? Oh, so he was coming home tomorrow. He is. He wrote to say he's bringing a friend with him. What does he say? About the friend, I mean. Is he tall, dark, and handsome, I hope? Tee <laughs> I'm horny. And here's what he says. Alex is a real great guy, even though he's serious-minded and tops in all his classes. He is my soulmate. He's got a job lined up with a construction gang near us, and I knew you no. wouldn't mind if he spent a few days with me, no. since it's the end of the term. Hey. See, so. Pretty dull. Alex has little time for girls. Uh-oh. I knew it. I bet he doesn't even dance. And is quite a woman hater in his way. Oh, jeez. Uh -huh. For Pete's sake. Wouldn't you know that goon brother of mine would bring home something that lives under a rock? Judy, I do wish you'd speak English like normal human beings. Yeah, Besides, true. I'm sure Mr. Phipps is a very nice young man. I know. But just because Bob is a book cook, there's no reason he has to bring another one home with him. Now, yeah, we'll see. Oh, there's a special message for you. Uh, I loathe you. And be sure and tell Judy to keep her grimy little paws off of my friend. Hmm? He's got no time for babies. He's not Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> What's his 
name again? George Kaplan. Alexander Phipps. Alexander Phipps? Sounds revolting. Sounds Montclair momenty. Yeah. Never made my dear brother think I'd be interested in a character with a name like that. Well, you throw yourself at anything. As far as Mr. Th Alexander Phipps is concerned, he'll be left alone. Permanently. <laughs> Permanently alone. And with the greatest of pleasure. More food. Hide the pain. More food. Mm, monster. But Patty only sees the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. Hey, what a crazy... P hey, the young Millie Helper Chronicles. Judy, is it about time you got dressed here? I'm dressed. Well, that's a matter of opinion. Go put on a dress Boy. before they get here. Ask for him? Okay, but nobody named Alexander Phipps would ever notice what I had on. Yeah, if you're named Alexander Phipps, it's just over for you. Wow, the bacon truck is here. <laughs> Tonight's the night, Mom. Daddy, Mother, they're here. And look at me, I'm a mess. Well, what do you care? Remember? His name is Alexander Fitz. Oh, wait till I get that brother of mine alone. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, Chip and Dale. Would you just get in the door? Hi, Mom. I'm back from the 20s. Oh, gee, it's good to be home. And to be Robert McNamara. Hi, Mom. This is Alex. Hello, Alex. We're very happy hey. to have you with us. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Adams. It's nice of you to have me. It's nice to be had. Wait a minute. Don't tell me. You're the twin without the Tony. Ah, go sit on a carrot, you crummy. Uh, Alex, this is the little sister I was telling you about. Uh, Judy, Alexander Phipps. How do you do, Mr. Phipps? So nice you could come. Oh, thanks, Judy. And the name is Alex. Xander Phipps. Did you guys have your lunch? <laughs> oh, no. We didn't want to miss another one of your meals. Besides, uh, we wanted to catch a shower. Wow. Okay, Look come along then. I'll have everything ready by the time you get back. Right. Join us later if you want, Ma. <laughs> oh, Ma, how about some of those hot biscuits of yours? Whoa, my All God. All right, hot biscuits. Judy will make them for you. Judy? Well, I didn't know she could... Biscuit. Come on now. Well, that sounds real good, and thanks. Hey, I'll soap you first. Mother, you do the biscuits, huh? Well, it'll only take you a moment, Judy. Thanks, Angel. I think I will throw on a dress. More ladylike, don't you think so? Yes, dear. But Alexander Phipps will never notice that. <laughs> You're a doll, Mother. Now make the biscuits. You can hardly see where you bit me. Sure do get a smooth shave with this electric razor. Hope your dad won't mind. No, you won't mind the best. He always lets me use it when I'm home. Dad's a swell guy. You'll like it. Just don't use his razor. He goes ballistic. Hey. You're not running out of hot water, are you? What? I said, you're not running out of hot water, are you? I stayed under quite a long time. Wow. Oh, don't worry about that. Where do you see the electric water heater, Dad, got it? We're loaded now. We have plenty of hot water all the time. That uh, sounds fun. I got to get out of here. Hey, Bob. Yeah? I thought you said your sister was just a little kid. She must be 40. Don't let her fool you. She's still a little monster. And I'm the Beastmaster. There. Now I look like Mom. Well, thank goodness for my electric dress. Hey, where's the fire extinguisher? He'll never touch you, Terry. You're dirt. Hey, you look mighty pretty. In a Thelma Redder sort of way. How about that food? Food? Is that all you can think of at a time like this? You mean lunchtime? Besides, don't change the subject. I ought to wring your smug little neck. What's the matter now? What have I done? Studious, serious-minded. What are you talking about? Tops in all his classes. Point, counterpoint. Now, oh, Judy, Alex is really a guy who... Well, that's is... little time for girls. Now, wait a minute. Let me explain. And a woman hater to boot. I think you're a... a stinker. No, well, don't. Girls have to have brothers. I love you, too. Now, simmer down, sis. <laughs> it's the truth. Alex really has no time for girls. Especially you. Flattery will get you nowhere. Just dun, 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 watch. God, I hate, don't hate women. Oh, hi. Hi, Alex. I know you're hungry. You'll be eating in a jiffy. Oh, my new me. kidney. Mm -hmm. Oh, one of them in syncorators. Everything's ready, Judy. <laughs> Come and get it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, make with the job, Rod. Come on, Alex. Make yourself at home. 
sorry to huh? put you to all this trouble, Mrs. Adams, but it does smell good. No trouble at all, Alice. Everything's so easy with an electric range. Hmm? Possibly I'm prejudiced, but seems the food tastes better, too. Say, I hate to be corny, beautiful, but what's cooking? Stew. Hmm? Beef stew. Oh. Mom knows how you love it. It's wonderful. It's my favorite dish. Yeah, it used to be my favorite dish. Jesus. You got a claw hammer or something I can work on this with? Hot biscuits. Mother made them. Hey, the electric phone. I'll get it, Mom. Oh, Thanks. Dad's calling from Chippendales. We got two shows. He won't be home. More Similac, dear? Did he arrive? Man, he's positively frantic. He runs around screaming. Real cool, Jonah. Tall, hmm? good looking. Spit Nothing at all like rail. the trips around school. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up at that. Uh huh. And he drives a real shafty convertible. He really has it. And I want it. Oh, when he looks at me, I get, you know, squishy. Oh, that's nice, ma'am. I just try to sell my magazine. This afternoon? Oh, that's a wonderful idea. Have my way with what it? Time? Okay. Bye. Well, that stew was really a production, Mrs. Adams. Can we help with the dishes? Uh-uh. No KP duty around here, Sergeant. We got dames to do that. Strictly automatic. See? Found the smell. You're all ready, Mom. That's all right, dear. Just put them in with the others. Why, what are all these gin bottles doing in here? Oh, wait a minute, Bob. Why not do it the easy way? You're suffocating me! Excuse me, Mom. It's Pepperidge Farm. That used to be my job at home. Washing the dishes, I mean. Oh, Bob and Judy got their share, too. But thank heaven, no more washing and wiping dishes around here. God, your hair smells terrific. And the dishwasher uses such hot water, you couldn't possibly put your hands in it. Sure. That makes the dishes hygienically clean. I'll put the heat well cooker in when I do the next level. I've never felt so comfortable with a woman, Mrs. Adams. Alexander, please. Do you want to have breakfast sometime? Don't do this to me, Alexander. See? Nothing to it, is it? And it's quiet, too! What? Eleanor, I'm busy down here at the White House. Okay, beautiful. And uh, now, don't forget to call me, will you? Right. Goodbye, Eleanor. Sally phoned and asked me to go for a swim. Mm. Thought you might like to come along and bring Alex. Oh, thanks. But I think Alex is going to be busy. Mm -hmm. Busy doing what? Now look, small fry, don't give me any trouble. All I know is he's seeing a man at the Northwest Machine Works on a matter of hydraulics. Say. Why don't you ask him yourself? Thanks. I will. I'm squishy and I need to move on it. And the circulating air completely dries them. Please stop, Why? I'm you vulnerable. You certainly know all about dishwashing. Oh, not all. But to tell the truth, Mrs. Adams, anything of mechanical or electrical nature interests me. Fits in with a hobby of mine. Dishwashers? Hmm? Not exactly. Time study. Figuring out how to do things better. Sounds interesting. <laughs> and does going for a swim sound interesting, Alex? It's a swell day for us. Oh, it is at that, Judy, and it... Well, it'd be great, but... I find you repulsive. Well, we make it some other time. I have an appointment this afternoon with an engineer. As a matter of fact, that's one of the reasons I came home with Bob. One of the reasons. Hey, I'd better is. hurry, too. Oh. Thanks for the lunch, Mrs. Adams. But just please go. Have a good swim, Judy. Sure, I will. Homo. Oh, lecture about mushrooms. You're dating Timothy there Leary? There's some mechanical problem connected with the lecture. If Alex wants to go. God, I wish he'd go home. Cockroach, sorry. Growing mushrooms under artificial conditions. Oh, so after all, the lecture may be very interesting. Yes, Mother. We should leave the house sometime, too. Mechanical problem. Mom? Time study. Earth to Mom! Hmm. What did you say, Mother? Judy, I have an idea. Yes? I remember your father. Vaguely. The trouble I had with him. He was a thumb sucker. Seemed as if nothing I did would interest him until I... Until what, Mother? I got my tattoo. Until I discovered how much he enjoyed good food. Oh. Well, the way to a man's heart, Judy. Oh, Mother, that's corny. Mm. Everyone likes good food. I know, dear, but I'm thinking of something else, too. Nude housework. It'll take a little conspiracy. Conspiracy? A nice little conspiracy for a nice young man. Like Whitewater. <laughs> you remember I decided not to go to the Garden Club dinner tomorrow night because of Alexander's visit? Well, I've changed my mind. I'm going. To hell with Alexander. You can find out for yourself whether Mother knows best. 
I hate to rope too. You need some rope. You need a potassium uh-huh. chainsaw. Oh, potassium nitrate. I like that. So right, I Going on a manhunt. Get me a man. Dee 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 dee. Okay, and thumbtacks. Why I'm baking my panties, but that's what Mom suggested. I'll turn it on now, but I'll light it later. Here you go, Daddy. Thanks, kitten. Need anything to fry, baby kitty? I don't think so, Mother. Now, how long did you say it would take this dinner to cook? Well, let's see. Your dinner should cook for an hour and a half at 350 degrees. Wait a hmm. sec, sweetie. Let me make with the mathematics. I'm going to dash over to Sally. She's going to set my hair. It's almost 3 o'clock now. You will eat at 6.30, and your dinner takes an hour and a half to cook. The Nazis will be on you by then. That's the timer. The timing bombs will be tripped by the wires when we drive through. And to cook for an hour and a half... They forgot to stop filming. Well, I flip the set switch. So it'll go on automatically. Turn the temperature dial to... I think this is cool. Hmm? Then I'm off to Sally. Okay? Absolutely right. Oh, glad I remembered to take the ham out of the freezer this morning. Is Mom and the guardian angels... I wish you weren't yeah. going out. Do you think everything will be all right? Of course, darling. It'll be lovely. Now, don't you worry. This isn't the first meal you've cooked, you know. No, but it's the first meal I ever cooked. Uh-oh. For Alex. She's getting squishy. Oh, Alex, he'll be pleasantly surprised and impressed. Mm-hmm. I have to hurry, dear. I have things to do. And what's a four-letter word for nuisance? Standard sitcom uh, joke landing on a runway nu- seven. Oh, that's easy. J U D Y. Yes. Well, I'm <laughs> up. Where are you going, Mom? Can we give you a lift, Mrs. Adams? No, thanks, boys. I don't know just what time I'll be back tonight, so I'm taking the car. Tonight? What about dinner? Oh, Judy's taking care of that. Judy? Why, Judy can't even boil water without burning. <laughs> hey, maybe we'd better go on a hamburger Harry's. At least we'll get something to eat. Go oh. right ahead. But you'll be sorry. Why, I wouldn't think of missing one of Judy's dinners. Thank you, Alex. Let's get in the car. Let's go quick. You shouldn't tease her so, dear. Oh, Mom, I was only needling her. Well, don't overdo it. You'll give her the reds. Hmm? What? She's squishy. She's got the reds. What's going on around here? Your mother's a freak. <laughs> Hash brownies look good. A young Mrs. Lockhorn prepares dinner. Hurt, 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 hurt. The Loretta Young Show. Interesting, Alex. You know, mushrooms are big favorites of mine. <laughs> Shrooms. Well, I understand it. There's quite an air conditioning problem involved. Is this an old coward play? Oh, I don't think that would be too much of a problem. Uh, when are you going home? You know what? That's what I need, an idea. Now to get my bustier out of the freezer. Uh, <laughs> has anyone noticed that uh, the daughter is psychotic? Well, you can always give it a try, Mr. Adams. Oh? This is like three days of the condor. I trust no one in this short. Mm. Oh, dear! Oh, me. Did I call I that? <laughs> Shut up! The men are talking in here. Oh, I don't know what I'll do. Oh, excuse me, sir. Lady in distress. Heave to, my friend. Trouble, Judy? Can I help? It's the mixer. It just won't work. Well, let me take a look. Talk to your dad about mushrooms. I think I impressed the old fart. <laughs> there we are. God, you're oh, dumb. I slipped up. That's all. But how do you suppose that happened? No. Just one of those things. First thing you do when an appliance doesn't work is find out if it's plugged in. That's the trouble most of the time. There. Is that what time study is? No. But are you interested in time study? Oh, here Your we go. Your mother was telling me that you're... <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a hobby of mine. Set the hook. I'd love to hear about it. Play him. Plenty of line. Take your kitchen. Ah. Ever noticed anything about it? Uh, it's a prison. There's the electric range, the electric sink, the garbage disposer, the electric. dishwasher, electric. the refrigerator, electric. the freezer. Exactly. All wonderful helps. Mm-hmm. Now, here's something you probably never thought about, Judy. Yeah. The kitchen today is like a factory in a lot of ways. Where's your upper lip? It can only be good if the right tools are used. Yeah, but oh, your upper lip, lip. where did... the best machinery that money can buy. Have you considered as braces? Result, the work is done faster, better, and easier. Just as it is in a modern kitchen. Hmm? See what I mean? Oh, yes. 
Just what's smart about all these things. Not really, Judy. It's just that I'm interested in. I'd like to make a study of them. Now, let's get those clothes off. Now, here's another thing. Not only are the best tools important, but everything connected with their use is taken into consideration. Don't wag your oh. finger at me, Pink See Boy. Oh. Just like machines in our factory. He's heating up. Straight line production. He's in the zone. Oh. They're not set this way just for looks. Wow. They're placed this way for a definite purpose. Mm -hmm. To save work, time, and unnecessary steps. Golly, I'm so impressed. He needs to meet a musician. It's called oh. time and motion study. Come here. Bring your suite behind over this way. Let me work on that zipper. Take your home freezer. Get in. Full of fresh frozen foods. Well, there's a definite saving of time and money. And you want to study this. And right next to it. Uh, don't tell me. I know. Um... The refrigerator. Keeps day-to-day -day food in perfect freshness. Hmm, now tell me about the drapes. And the dishwasher. Now there's a machine that does away with a chore that everybody hates. I did not know and that. Again, right next to it. The garbage disposal. Put your arm in there. Very convenient. Bring your buns over here, sweet cheeks. The electric range. Yeah! Automatic cook, right? And only a few steps from where the food is kept. So it's like a normal kitchen. Notice how it all adds up to one important thing? What? Love. Consideration for the housewife. How does someone become, how you say, a housewife? Even that mixer's a big work saver. Oh, God, my whipped cream. Now, just pour that in there. That's right, that's good. That's a bowl, you know. Imagine having to do that the hard way, by hand. Judy, beyond <laughs> thunder squishy. Ah, Alex, meatloaf, I honey. Appetite with you. Oh, I certainly did, sir. The table looks beautiful, Judy. Oh, yes, thank sir. You, Alex. You certainly <laughs> love it. Beautiful. When are you leaving, Alex? Well, here's to Judy. To Judy. Judy, 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 Judy. Well, I brought along my appetite, too, so let's sample it. That's for me, sir. How about you, Bob? Oh, but quick. <laughs> Just a small piece for the boy at the end. Well, <laughs> I'll try to get through. Jesus. Perfect dinner, Judy. That's what you should have cooked. She couldn't boil water without burning it. You're a damn liar. Pineapple juice. Chilled just right. And that ham steak. Oh, brother. Take me. Creamy potatoes, buttered lima beans, and that wonderful cherry pie with whipped cream. All right, all right. I think we ought to make him eat all his meals at Hamburger Harry's for that. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This is really exciting Listen, to me. Judy, and I'm very proud of you. Oh. Yep, Judy. You did all right. Thanks. But I can't take all the credit. Our kitchen does everything but talk. <laughs> oh, delightful. Now, uh, about that lecture. Oh, I don't know. After such a wonderful meal, I'd fall asleep in a lecture. Oh, boy, here it comes. I maybe. How'd you like to go dancing? <laughs> oh, Alex, how great. Okay. Well, let's get going on the dishes. And, Bob, no. you can take in the lecture if you want. No, thanks. I'm weird. I'm going to watch TV tonight. A lot of good shows. Now, uh, don't you young folks worry about the dishes. There's no trouble around here, you know. Oh, Dad, you're a doll. Actually, I'm being indicted, but... See you later. Night. Double bag it, son. Here, let me give you a hand with these, Dad. Okay, son. Oh, I don't know, just strap on some heels and a wig the way I've been emasculated. My mother's clipped me like a gelding, for God's sake. Oh, hello there. Nice to see you. Oh. Well, how'd it go? Big success? Tremendous success. We've got quite a girl there, Mother. Quite a girl. Yeah, my luck just back. <laughs> what are those? Oh, nothing, nothing. Oh. You want to go with me? Alex left them. Something about growing mushrooms under artificial conditions. And avoiding the narcs. I might find out how to grow them in the basement. Say, I could move your lawn. Oh, no, you don't. Uh-uh. Really, Harry, this is the end. <laughs> this film is brought to you by the Nerd Council. Support your local nerd. And a generous grant from the Mom Corporation, the incredible power of Mom. So the point of this short is that we should dabble in mushroom growing. Uh, Susan we... slept here. <laughs> Hey, Mike. Yeah. I figured out it would be a lot more convenient for all of us if you move the Mads light over to the left a little. Okay. 
Okay. okay. All right. Good. Whoa, no whoa, 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 whoa. Back, back. Just back, a little bit. Little back, 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 back. Nudge. Whoa. Just a nudge. Just a little okay. more. Inch there. more. Inch more. There. Tee -tee. There. Baby step. The row. Whoa. Stop. Woo. Huh. Weird. Bad news, Mike. Our theme song tested rather poorly, and, well, I'm a big time executive, and I made a snap decision. We're going to start our own radio station, and we're going to name it Frank. A radio station called Frank? That's right. So come on, turn your crank to Frank. Let's talk. And more new country. Winona. Billy Ray Cyrus. Love that Frank. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, I can't promise that I personally will be turning my crank to Frank, but I... But it's a radio station called Frank. More Garth. More Reba. Winona. Brooks and Dunn. Even Brooks. Brooks and Dunn. Winona. What is Winona? I don't know. Don't you see how great it is? My name is Frank. The radio station's name is Frank. It's totally uncharacteristic to name a radio station Frank. More Garth. More Reba. Winona. What, am I out of Reba? Do I need more Reba? Or any Winona? I don't know. Sorry, guys. Got to think about this one. Mm. Turning my crank to... I'm not... I don't think that... I'm not, I'm not going to... I can't come in. crank is perfectly fine. Reba is. Ah, yes, the Bobby Knight story. <laughs> the Inquisition were violent years. And your crusades. Oh, the Hun years, too. The Thirty Years' War. How long was that war? It was about 20... <laughs> hey, <laughs> Good one. New York City, the city that never moves. Are there Parkins involved in this? Poor Carl Parkins had brown suede shoes. He was so close. Not quite close. So is this the Naked City? It's the scantily clad city. Ooh. I did it again. Zing! Are you quite finished over here? <laughs> Uh-oh, the movie has a certain general's warning. Ooh. Well, they should never have used a manual, Francisco, on this movie. An electric one would be so much better. <laughs> Traffic is hardly moving on the bridge tonight. Victor, most of California except Lompoc. <laughs> Thick chalk years. Everyone forced to write with the Palmer method. Well, I gotta go buy some drugs and insult some people and abandon my parents and friends. That's straight from Thomas Paine, by the way. Ah. Well, let's not forget adequate support garments. This is a story of violence. Ah. A violence born of the uncontrolled passions of adolescent <laughs> youth and nurtured by this generation of parents. The devil made Those me do it! In their own smug little world of selfish interests and confused ideas of parental supervision hmm? refuse to believe today's glaring headlines. The name's Friday. But it has happened. Only the people and places have been given other names. Courtney Love. Mm -mm. Hey, how about a little sugar for the father of my country, huh? I will not tell a lie. Hey, God, my teeth hurt. Thank you! <laughs> Ba-boom! <laughs> office is just off the cafeteria just dropped a hell of a turret in there if you know what i mean Ooh. <laughs> judge joking let's hear it for your headliner the night stated and come to order court is now in session honorable raymond clara judge presiding fake court will now begin will you approach the bench please yeah but don't touch it it's made out of styrofoam um <clears throat> have you got a five i could borrow till tomorrow I... it's always difficult for an old friend to sit in judgment of an old friend. Hmm? But you're going but down, man. Law is law, and it must be administered to one as to another. Do your worst, you puss. It now comes to light that both of you, over the past 18 years, have proven yourselves utterly incompetent. Thank you. The most important responsibility given to a man and his wife. Sir, it's one parking I ticket. I refer to the bringing up of children in your own home. Honey, don't laugh. In all fairness to the society which you so miserably failed, and in justice to this child, I must deny your request. By the way, you're ugly and stupid, too. How am I to blame? Where could I have failed? Hmm? I remember I gave her everything she ever huh. wanted. Her neck is having a flashback. Ooh. Everything. 
Ladies and gentlemen, your screenwriter, Ed Wood. Hi, Mom. Can I have more of everything? Got time to talk a minute? It's rather important. Good gracious, no. I'm an hour late already. I'm two weeks late. Daddy first and all that sort of thing, you know. Besides, what can be so important in your young life as to warrant my attention so drastically? Wow. Well, it's been a long time since we've had a heart-to-heart -heart talk. There, there. It can wait. Go away. Right. What can be more important than our charities? So many children and needy families. Really bugs me. Well, We're so busy this time of the year, and it's very, very important. I guess you're right, Mother. Of course I am. Now, go do some crimes. Thank you, darling. Tell you a secret. I hate you. I think I like it down at the club so much because I keep getting such nice flattery. The girls are always saying, my, my, how young and pretty you look. For an old you're hag. an 18-year-old daughter. But you are pretty, Mother. Oh, go along with you. But it does sound good. Got a date tonight? Well, uh, sort of. Oh, who you pretty one? Of course you do. But then what night lately haven't you? Watch 227. You come in as late as you have been. Do be careful and not make any noise. Yes. Oh, don't get me wrong. He hasn't complained or said anything. In fact, he hasn't moved in a the week. The poor man works so hard. That newspaper will be the death of him. His route is killing him. Do be a dear and take care when you come in. He needs what little rest he can get. It got rough last night. Thank goodness you want one of those character types that your father's paper is always printing about. Need some mad money? Or is he a gentleman? I have enough, Mother. Don't be silly. There's never enough. Please, no more, not again, my life is hell. Enough. No more money. You left the Mount Blank again. Mm. I could be mean and fill it in for a fortune. You could, but you won't. Let me know how much you make it out for so that I can keep my bank balance straight. All right, Mother. Will you be using my car again tonight? If you don't mind, dear. You can use mine. Hmm? Now I'll tell you a secret. This doesn't make Your sense. Times are like yours better. Tonight is one of those times. Keep your life to yourself, honey. One Google Plex and 79 cents. Oh, my life is hell. How much more of this can I take? I'm going to report her to child protection. Hello. Phil, this is Paul. Uh, Paul? Is everything ready? Uh, who is this? Good. Uh, you heard your jury show yet? Uh, Paul? Stop worrying. They'll get to you. But I don't know any... I'll be along as soon as I get this. You... Mother, just this minute left. But who's Paul? I don't know any... Hello? Hmm. I think I'll throw pig's blood on the wall. Ooh. Think of the hellish life. Your mother writing a blank checks. But does that justify going out and making right turns? Wow. No, I say to you. Society owes me a Kit Kat bar. Rosewood Super Service. Soon to be Rosewood's Lickety Lube. Every minute away from my porno mags is hell. Good evening. It's my pleasure to serve... Hey. Huh. Benazar Bhutto is holding him up. Hmm? Free oil filter would fill up the... Hey, do we want the rigid tool calendar? Hmm? Oh. You can trust our octanes. Uh, check your hoses. <laughs> Need an area map? We got plenty. <laughs> Hello, girls. Good luck with the holdup. Mm. Saw your mom in here the other day. <laughs> Let's go. We've got all the barrel of fun snacks. Please, take an air freshener. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and fall, man. <laughs> hey, your rear tire's a little low. Ding, ding. Was the restroom clean? Well, I did a C-section, but I wasn't able to find anything. Will he pull through, Doc? He hasn't regained consciousness, and it's top heavy odds he ever will. Pretty hmm. bad, huh? Pretty bad. These fool kids, when will they learn? These aren't kids. These are morons. Will he ever pump again? Hi, right, Barney. Lieutenant? Tom? Doctor? Honey? Pete Pete? Another one, huh? Cookie? Pretty bad one this time. How about it, Doc? Pretty bad. I'll get back to you later if there's any change. 
Uh, I said he'd give me a deal on wiper blades. Anything I could print? You heard the doctor. Nothing. Huh. Suppose it's the same gang? Chances are. Yep. If only he comes to, then... Well, well be... if it is the same gang, it brings their record to 17. And the last seven of them have been gas stations. Any yeah, pattern? Looks like they'll make a specialty of gas stations for a while now. If they do, we may be ready for them. How do you mean? Well, we'll prepare all ourselves. All gas stations open after 10 p.m. will be warned to have two men on duty at all times. One of those men could be a policeman. Well, I tried to jumpstart him. That didn't work. Lieutenant, I left Dr. Ryan in charge. The man was lucky. He'll pull through. Let's just let the scene peter out. <laughs> <laughs> All but the Teutonic races will never be capable of leadership, and yet they breed rapidly like the mongrels that they... Oh, <clears throat> more later. Hi, Chief. <laughs> Oh, hello, Barney. Where's your big purple suit? <laughs> oh, I'm tired, but no more than you. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, am. you look really bad. Too much to newspapers these days. I haven't seen my daughter Paula in a week. I ran into her up at school earlier this week. Well, stalked her. She gets more beautiful every day. Like I said, I wouldn't know. Hmm? One of these days, I'm going to take a day off. Maybe get to know her again. Nah, who am I kidding? What happened out at the hospital? Well, the gas station attendant pulled through. Oh, gonna good, spend I need a couple gas. weeks in the hospital, but he'll live. How much could he tell? It's the same gang. Four of them. Wore masks, Levi's, leather jackets. Look like your daughter. Gloves with a handful of guns. Same bunch. Probably the same clues. Who's that uh, on the wall? Chopin? Well, no fingerprints. 55 sedan. Schubert? License unknown. Mm -hmm. Masks. Caps covering their hair. Same old routine. Well, our little gang has one thing in their favor. Hmm? Yeah, what's that? They haven't killed anyone. <laughs> yet. That's not their fault. They've tried hard enough. Maybe it's Just give them a little more time. Sting, yeah. It's too bad we can't do anything about giving them a little more time. However, they happen to be news. Thank you, Ben Bradley. We'll stick with the police department. See this thing through. I'm going back to sleep. You're the boss, Chief. We got to get this story out by, oh, next week is fine. The Rosicrucians are drawing even nearer. I smell the... Hey, that's the same right turn as before. Tom McCahill says the big 55 caddy rides smooth. Oh, the passion. I find you so acceptable. <laughs> Here comes the Paige Cavanaugh trio. What? They're on display. Hmm. You parked under the RKO logo. Oh, your smoldering averageness. Stop me. <laughs> you gonna kiss her? You are acceptable as a mate. Take me now. Ain't love something. Well, what is this? Johnny, who are they? Don't ask so many questions. You might find the answer. That's true, but how does that apply here? How? Jerry, <laughs> be careful. That's a beautiful sweater. Well, thank you. Take it off. What are you talking about? You ain't got stuff in your ears. Take that sweater off. <laughs> Why, what right do you Shut think? up and do like she says. Do what they say, Shirley. They've got guns. Yes, Shirley, we've got guns. The Peggy Noonan gang. You're very observant for a pretty boy. Mm. Mm. For God's sake, Cheryl, take this sweater <laughs> off. Give it to her. Got this down at Fallbushes. They got it in six sizes. Now, Buster your turn. Step out. I'd just like to say I'm totally amenable to taking off any clothes you want. Oh, my. Oh. Turn around. Put your hands out in front of you. Lean forward. Put your hands on the car door. Come on. Come on. We haven't got all night. You've seen this done before. Take off your underwear without taking off your pants. I really think you need to spank me at the bad. Oh, my. Whenever I get to the end, I fall into a wormhole. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a lousy 11 bucks. You characters ought to learn to carry more dough. No. You can stand up now. A and take my pants off, right? Well, maybe he's got more to offer than his money. What are you getting at? I got a Jerry Garcia tie. Big, strong. A little pretty, maybe, but... Yeah, under conventional circumstances, <laughs> he could be very interesting. Why wait for conventional circumstances? Yeah, why indeed, You got a yes. point there. What about her? Oh, tie her up and toss in the back of the... <laughs> Tough luck on E.T. <laughs> Higher up. You heard me. 
Sure, I heard you. But maybe you'd like to tell me what I used to tie her up with. Well, I got some rope in the trunk. That looks strong enough. Tear up, use it. You heard her, girl. Get a move on. I'm sorry, but this is so great. I completely condone what you're doing. Now back to you, handsome. Look, you have my money. You have my watch. You have my ring. What more do you want? <laughs> oh, where are we going out again real soon, Rick? See, this works as a nice matching cuff, too. Toss in the back of the seat. Okay, but do you mind telling me where we're going? Someplace where it's safe. Just follow us. Hmm. Dr. Forrester has sent us a truly great movie. <laughs> Rabbit goes around the feet, through the thing. Oh, could you switch the radio station, please? Uh, she'll probably be okay. <laughs> Bye, honey. Don't wait up, honey. I'm doing this for you. <laughs> now, if all four of you have to get involved, I understand. I, it could get rough, and that's fine. I... Third day in a row with him, this has happened. I'm beginning to suspect something. A Fanta Sweet will never satisfy her again. I beg of you, don't lightly kiss my belly, and then don't nibble at my nipple buds, and don't drag your shiny hair across my body, because I hate that. I know there's a spot behind my ear. Please don't kiss there. Eleven dollars went a long way back then. All right, girls, can I see your park permit? Oh, my God! Oh. <laughs> okay, squeal, piggy. What a great movie! Oh, we gotta get Gypsy! Oh, She's gotta see this! Wormholes again? Penthouse Forum, the motion picture. Oh, Tattletale, jeez. Okay, honey, I'll meet you at home. Refuses to file charges. Says, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hundreds of men flocked to crime scene. <laughs> they took turns at Tommy and there was four of them. Ladies and gentlemen, Esther Hoffman Howard. With one more look at you, I could burn again, again, again. Oh, no, I can't do it. No, 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 young hoodlums running rampage through the town, I'm kept pretty much on the go. 
Mm. Especially at night, that's when they work. Mm. Who knows when or where they'll strike again. Sometimes you sound more like a policeman than a newspaper man. <laughs> Sometimes there isn't much difference. <laughs> it's too bad. I can't be here either. She's having a pajama party this year. What in the world is a pajama party? Mm -hmm. Oh, they all sit around, play games, dressed in their pajamas. The oh, well, tonight, tonight. tonight. Ah. No boys invited. Oh, I see. We're having our charity bazaar tonight, and I'm mm. the duly elected chairman of the sales committee. I've just got to be there. Well, Paula's old enough to take care of herself now. I'll get a little gift this afternoon and have one of the boys from the office drop by with her tonight. Oh, she'll yeah. like that. Paula's such an understanding child. Well, goodbye, my suffocating little ice queen. See you when I can. Is that vague enough for you? Yep, I'm really off to the newspaper. I'm certainly not going to that spot where they attacked that fellow. No. Freedom! Oh! Hello, did you have an appointment? Happy birthday, darling. Thanks, Mom. You were out late again last night. A little. I can tell. Your eyes don't sparkle the way they should. Do you feel ill? No, just a little tired. A good breakfast will fix you up. What would you like to have this morning? A blank check. Please don't bother. I'm just not hungry. Now, now, Mother knows best. You're a growing girl. You need your vitamins, strength. Now you just sit there and I'll get you something. It'll only take a minute. It's all ready. You have plenty of time before school. Oh, sure, those cheerful morning words and tender pat on the cheek meant to hurt and scar. Ooh. Another classic walk across the living room scene. Freedom! Honey, here's your slim fast. I could have sworn I had a daughter. I drive everyone away with my affectionate, good-natured demeanor. Sign up here for volunteer stakeout duty. Hmm? I have big plans for the government. Why has the Lord chosen me, you might ask. That Paula, what in the world brings you down here? Hi, Dad been so long since I've seen you, I thought I'd drop in today. It's my birthday, you know. Happy birthday. Now get out. Gee, honey, I'm sorry I can't be at your party tonight. But you know how busy I am. See? I understand, Dad. Then you wouldn't look good at an all-girl pajama party now, would you? Well, this <laughs> certainly is a surprise. I thought it would be. I'm Paula, your daughter. No classes to 1.30 and extra long lunch hour. Oh, I see. What's this rag? Oh, it's... Uh, got a line on the girls that did this yet? Now, don't you bother your pretty little head about such things. That's your dad's department. It could be very important to me. How do you mean? You know, significant. Well, I'm up for president of the student body this year, and this type of thing you call juvenile delinquency could help me. The picture is at Hamilton? More about it, how to prevent it. If you knew how to prevent it, you'd go down in history as the greatest person of our time. After Casey but Stengel, of course. Is commendable. I figure it this way, Dad. Possible. You're on the inside. Hector you know that will low down almost as soon as it happens. Guess you're right about that. But what is it you want me to do? That's easy. As soon as anything happens, you tell me. Everything? Everything. There's a ten spot in it for you. Order. So what? It's not too big for you. I hardly catch you at home anymore, so I'll have to see you here. Ouch. Well, if it'll help you to be president, I'll do it. Dad, you're a peach. Now, uh, anything new on last night's bunch? Have you read the paper? Yes. Well, then you have the story. Honest. Honest. Come on, you write Cappy Dick, for God's cold. sake. Either the girls have no previous record or they're from out of town. It's Lieutenant Holmes' theory that they were from out of town. No, we weren't. The boy oh. couldn't identify any of them from the police picture files. And there it will stay until something else turns up. What about the gas station affair? Is there anything new on that? Say please. Nothing you could call new. Four young boys. The Dave Clark Five? Holmes oh. is putting a policeman in mechanics clothes with each gas station staying mm. open after 10 at night. <laughs> if the gang tries another gas station heist, they'll be all through. Unless they hit liquor stores. Well, that's interesting enough for a starter. Oh, by the way, have they built any 7-Elevens around here? Bye. What a neat kid. Wish I had a daughter like her. Come on, girls, let's spin donuts on the football field. Oh, my pits hurt. We're calling off the gas station job. Oh, we can't call off Clanton's. We already have. But why? We could have had more of a ball at Clanton's than all the rest put together. Maybe it'd be a little too much excitement, even for us. 
The cops have pulled a sneak. They'll be waiting for us. So what? How can the cops know we picked Clanton's? I'll explain later. The main thing is they know. It puts an end to our gas station jobs for a while. We'll have to think up something else. I hate robbing retail. Back at Principal Bates. She have you on the carpet again? Yeah, the old witch. Ooh. What'd you do this time? Practically nothing. Killed a cop. Nothing for them to get so hep up about. Just that mask. Teacher flunked me again, so I told her off. Wow. I like to get even with all of them. Ooh. Maybe you'll get the chance sometime. We'll have to go over to Sheila's tomorrow and get rid of last week's loot. We hear and, and obey. obey. How come we don't use your car in our jobs? How come your mother's all the time? My car'd be spotted a mile away. Let's get in. By the way, we're all pregnant from the guy we attacked. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, yes, the scene that was condemned by the Catholic League of America. But I want to rob Clanton's. Shut up. Hello? Hmm? <laughs> they arrived in a U-boat. They're all standing up in that car. Ah, <laughs> uh, they have to pick up Mamie Van Doren. That'd be hard. Help. Oh, phooey, it says no solicitation. Well, back in the car. Okay, let's rob the entire apartment building instead. Did anybody remember the potato salad? So is this that Melrose place everyone's been talking about? I know, they dress as men so they can live in this apartment building. <laughs> talk like a man, talk like a... Hello! Well, I don't know who you are or why you're here, but come on in. Sal Minio entertains at home. You kids have been lucky. So what? Maybe we're just a little smart. Just be careful you don't get too smart for your own good. A double pleasure Help is waiting for you. if you want any. I'll get them. Well, you look good. What have you got this time? More junk? We've never brought you junk yet. I couldn't get back half of what I paid you for that last mess. Yeah, losing your money gets you a setup like this. Mm. Isn't that Harpo on the right? I think... Uh -huh. Just as I thought. Junk! Those are real diamonds. I had them appraised. Appraised? Well, that was kind of foolish, wasn't it? You could be caught if they were traced. What do you take me for, a stoop? No, a porch. Jimmy, the fence <laughs> no. over. He offered me 200 for the brace and the loan. No. 500 for the lot. I think we'll take our business to Jimmy. Ah, the free Over market there. at work. Come on, gang. Sheila doesn't want to be bothered with us anymore. Let's take our air fresheners elsewhere. <laughs> You're a bunch of blackmailers. Mm. Oh, not that big yet. But give us a chance. We're still growing. We like milk and it shows. Did you really see Jimmy this time? What difference does it make? We got what we wanted. I'm not interested in the money. There's plenty of that at home. It's the principle of the thing. I don't want anyone getting the idea they put something over on me. Sheila take her eye teeth and then try to steal the rest. It's the thrill that gets me. The thrill of the chase, me. Oh, and shopping. I like to shop. Oh, oh. Mm, goodness, I like squirt. Oh, here comes Uncle Mame. Oh. Seven fifty. You think you're pretty smart, don't you? I don't think I know. That's why I'm the leader of this pack. You're mm. a punk. Or you wouldn't be tied up in this small-time penny ante business. You got better ideas? Maybe. Speak your piece. Or forever hold your now. Take the bottle hmm? into the bedroom for a while. I want to talk to Paula privately. Uh, which one of us is Paula? And close the door. Beat it, Harpo. Uh -uh. Start talking. I just wanted to tell you how much I love your outfits. What do you think about school? What are you driving at? I've got a connection that doesn't like schools. Chester, the third Most grader. Most kids don't. We're not talking kid talk. Hmm? It's worth a lot of money to a certain organization if certain damages are reported. Certainly. I don't get it. You don't have to. All you have to know is, if you can wreck a few schoolrooms, you can make yourself and your pack hmm. a load of dough. Exactly. How much dough? More than you can use. Besides, you've always said the money means nothing to you. But Why it's about would anyone $10. pay just to have schools wrecked? That's none of your business or mine. Mm. I have the connection. And besides, there'll be a great thrill behind this move. Mm. And uh, don't worry if a few flags get destroyed in the process. <gasps> Not old glory! Let's just say it's part of a well-organized 
firm plans. Communism! Wow. You don't have to. All you have to do is what you're told. Now go to your room. How soon do we move? Just as soon as you can. But be careful you're not caught. You're no good to me in the clink. Clink? We won't get caught. I don't know how you can be so sure. I wear secrets. It's easy. This is one of the rough spots in the dialectic. Oh, Pete Hamill's place. I love this song, don't they? Though, look at those pajamas. She may as well be nude. Uh, the pajama part. I could use a hand here. All right, who's next? Oh, the strip in the woods for a total stranger, but they're modest in their own home. <laughs> Now there's a girl who takes squishiness and does something about it. Mm, I think we're out of s'mores. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, his pajamas are a little formal. <laughs> Have you ever thought of the advantages of owning a truly fine set of encyclopedias? I wouldn't invite Ralph Bellamy to my slumber party. Thursday, Friday, happy days. Your zipper seems to be Sheila, stuck. Talk to <laughs> All she did was say that you're a right guy and that I should meet you. Mm -hmm. And as pretty as you are, I'm glad I came. Mm -hmm. I don't need her to pick my friends for me. Or my nose. I'm sure you don't. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty particular. Well, I'm sure you are. I've played it alone for a long time. Sure you have. That's how I plan to keep it. Maybe I should look for my new company elsewhere. No. You're here now. You might as well stay. Okay. Since I'm now an invited guest, do you want my giving you a birthday gift? Hmm? Oh, I've already got one of these. Do you have a receipt so I can return it? Oh, heck, what's one more? <laughs> Do anything but lay off of my blue suede shoes. Pajamas, jazz, and communism. This is wild. Oh, he's making out with Aaron Moran. <gasps> Someone's dancing with Otis. <laughs> skin! I see skin! I... Take it oh, easy. It's gone. Masters and Johnson, uh, we've got some advice for you. Make out, police. Come out with your lips up. Hi, you ready? Yeah. I'd like to speak to Miss Parkins. Yeah. Paula? Yes. What about? Vinyl cider. I don't think that's any of your affair. Why, you... It's all right, Nanny. He's from my dad's office. Go ahead and punch him. Ma'am? Fine way to greet a guest who bears gifts. A mud butler. What? Don't pay Manny a second thought. He's seen too many gangster movies. He's really very nice once you get to know him. That brings up the point. Do many people stick around long enough to get to know him that well? Quit needling me. I come in? Sure, if you want to. Just let me explain the mud butler joke. See, a mud butler is a thing that is placed on the ground, bolted, and then you scrape the mud off your... You're not buying it. Well, grab yourself a guy. I'll see if I can find you a nighty. I uh, brought an extra lap. <laughs> I see the party's formal dress. It's a pajama party. I was joking again. Yeah, I can see that, party. but mixed crowd, huh? Well, uh, gang, I want you to meet my father's star reporter, Barney Stetson. Pajama party, B. Hi, gang. L7, man. What? Look, don't let me interrupt anything. Birthdays are just like Christmas. They only come once a year. There is an audible thud every time he tells a joke. What, am I alone in here? Hello? Kind of cold in here all of a sudden. Don't Again, a joke. Uh, yeah, yeah. I like to smoke. Do you like to smoke? Oh, That's a cute pair. Thank you. They oh. have their points. Oh, I almost forgot the reason for my visit. Your father's going to be very late tonight and ask me to drop this off for you. Remote right. control? Work, Work so hard. Thanks for bringing. Aren't you going to open it? Later. I know what it is. Dad gets me the same present every birthday. Really little car. New watch. Mom, come look. Oh, never mind, Paula. I saw the new convertible when I came in. Hmm? It never changes. Oh, like a Mom mud butler? Mom and Dad have been to my birthday parties in years. But always the same presents. Mom sneaks out and takes my old car in for a trade, then has a new one delivered secretly. She takes mm. a cab to her club. Mm -hmm. Funny. I like a sedan better. Mm -hmm. You have a really funny line here, but I'm afraid to use it. Let's have some more music. I love you, Ada Annie. Ain't you seen enough yet, Sob Sister? 
maybe you've seen enough to know you ain't wanted. Knock it off, Manny. I don't like this guy's looks. Excuse me, I Why do. Why don't you change him, Manny? Maybe that's a good idea. What about I should change your looks, sob sister? Mud butler. Sob sister. Mud butler. Like sob sister. Huh? How old are you, punk? Over 21. Well, that's old enough. Want to go out some time? Dance me. Thanks for stopping by, Ted. He asked for that. I'm trying to think of a quip or something. You're here. in bad company, Paula. But I don't want to sound like I'm telling you your business. Then don't try. Well, I'll see you next year with your new watch. Mm, how'd you guys like that scene, hmm? See, it's something you'd wipe your boots on so it's an insult. Forget it. This is going to be the front page story in the Glenview Shopper. Change me. Uh, oh. The train. Ooh, we got trouble right here in River City. Why, well, that dirty sub sister, I'll take care of him. Hmm? Haven't you had enough for one night? This is one of the worst planned pajama parties ever. Good night, boys. The party's over. Don't hate me, Susan. <laughs> but the night's just beginning. And that goes double for me. Huh? Boy, I hope they show another right turn. Oh, oh. <laughs> they backed up the whole way. That's very good. You scored a 94 on your driver's test. Boom! Oh, no, you hit the crew, and he's really mad. Let us in. We've got to make fruit fly medium. This is something I've been waiting for for a long, long time. We'll get it done as quickly as possible. We'll get in, get the job done, and get out. Isn't that sort of a general rule to crime? <laughs> I hope they kill Mr. Carter. I'm going to smash everything in this joint. Let's do it quick and get out of here. They're going to bring the fifth grade to its knees. <laughs> I hate you. Stupid inanimate objects. I this was your scrawny neck. Ooh, good, good. You're letting it all out. Now, what if both your parents were here? Oh, no, 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 Girl gang goes on rampage. President Eisenhower declares a state of detention. Down with the globe. Mrs. Hathaway goes berserk. This is for you, Betsy Ross, you stupid little huh? Later, in completely unrelated footage. <laughs> ah, there. Different car. There we go. Well, if it's that denuding girl gang, I better go in alone. Draw that gun. Get them into action. Just confess to tipping the desks over. Take your chances. What the bastards? <laughs> throw powder puffs, floor ammunition can't last forever. How many have you all got? Well, then what's in my gun? All I've got left is in my gun. I've got ten shells in my pocket, then poof. We'll have to beat it to the car. I've got gum. I've got a dozen boxes under the back seat. Lay it into them fast, then we'll beat it. They need to ask themselves if this is really worth it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll distract them by letting them assault me. Look at them jump, just like rabbits. <laughs> Rabbits with big guns and good aim. It, yes? It ain't supposed to be. What isn't? What? This way. Huh? She died as she lived, failing algebra. Just tell me where the mascara is. Oh, jeez. Dirty. Remember, guys, once I carved my name in the bleachers and there's a big shootout. Wow. I think we're talking about full expulsion yeah. now. Mm -hmm. I'll save the rest of your ammo and let's get out of here. But we don't have hall passes. Grease, the version they dared not make. Where do we go from here? Softball practice. Hey, look. She got us into this mess and she can get us out. Hey, they're cute. No, and we've got to keep on the move. She'll do anything so she doesn't have to drive.
This is actually a commercial for Light Days panty liners. No. Yes. I want to buy some. Officers, close your eyes so you can't identify us. Ah, oh, forget it. They're too far. Quit shooting. <laughs> we shot that fat barkeep. Thought you were going to get the license number. Well, you said you were going to get oh, the I license. Oh, I didn't, you, you load. You said it. No rush. Just kind of mosey on into the chase there. There you go. You said you knew where the chase was. No, you said you knew I where it was. I never. You said Balloon. it, right? <gasps> Another right turn, those fiends. Tell you what, let's not fight. Let's just shoot any girl we see. Okay. <laughs> you know, the inability of the cops to turn right becomes their downfall. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> the lamp is a statue of Our Lady of Do You Have a Bathroom around here. Let's eat a prickly. Oh, right in the middle of photo play. Wow. It's Judy Jetson. Who is it? Paula, what, what do you want? Stop talking so much and open the door. I barely said anything. Oh, Golly. No. The cops are after us. Guess which two of us are dead. I was just having a blood communion. Wow. You think my shirt is too baggy? You're in this as deep as we are. Who do you think you're kidding? Get out of here. We're staying. Well, Crystal Light, what then? What kind of jerks are you, anyway, leading the cops to my door? We lost them. Now, come on, we want that payoff. For what? We wrecked the school like you wanted. Job completed and job to be paid for by you. Well, I need an invoice. Out of your minds, are we? Well, how do I know you wrecked a school? How? Take our word for it tonight. Then read about it in the papers tomorrow. Mm. Oh, it'll be in the papers, all right. Mm. Headlines this time. Now we want our money. Yeah, we want some clothes, too. These things are a dead giveaway. You'll get nothing from me. Hmm. I'll go get it. Hmm? Hey, the famous naked man. Hey, well, what do you know? Let's see how long you stay after I call the cops. Keep away from that phone. Hmm? I killed a policeman tonight. Congratulations. Cop? Yeah, a cop. Well, I may have been bluffing before, but I'm not bluffing now. I'm calling the police. Hmm? Oh! When a woman that top-heavy falls, look out. Quick, Scotch guard the couch. Gotta move fast. Get a change of clothes. See what Sheila's got. That's not too big in the bust. Killed by a tether ball. She's awfully young. Do you know her? No. You? But I've seen dozens like her. Lieutenant, there's another one upstairs. Okay. Well, now I've seen... Dozens and one, I guess. And after this, let's play some four square. Mike, we're ready for you. Uh oh, um, good. Uh, uh, we there could, you are. Uh, uh, the talent will please find his light. Right. Uh, could we talk about this? Because a one-man show about Keanu Reeves. I, I don't Darling, think you are Keanu Reeves. Pull this oh. off and I'll let you star in my next epic. It's a one-man show about Anthony Michael Hall. <laughs> that should be good. But let's talk about the script for this talent one. I mean, quiet, it, doesn't please. the word lame come to... Final tech rehearsal will commence. Places everyone with... Oh, there you are, Margo. And begin. I swear this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. This is my own private Idaho potato. <laughs> oh, man, that is so lame. Lame? It's humor, Mike. Oh, come on. It's stupid. I quit Idaho potato. I quit. Idaho throw. potato. I quit. potato. It is funny, man. It's, it's, it's <laughs> get, get. What? It's a potato. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> More cramps? Yeah. No thanks. Seems to be getting worse. Maybe something you ate at the party or drank. So you were in Austria during the war? Yeah, I was, yes. It... Bye, Mr. Crane. He's calling the back seat. <laughs> He'll never guess where I'm calling from. Hey, you seen two girls in a convertible? Hey, pull up, you two. Hey, that's too far. <laughs> look out, look out, look out, look out. <laughs> Auntie M. 
Call glass replacement specialists anytime, day or night. Free case of steaks. Shut it off. She's gone. The Simpsons. It's a room in heaven. Oh, Mom told me not to, but no, I had to pick that pimple. You know, a federal indictment may prove difficult to overcome in the student elections. And all this started because of their electric kitchen? Kids with guns. Chuck Heston would love it. One of them was killed instantly. The other one's pretty badly shaken up. I'll kill her later. Have been informed? Yeah, right after the accident. Well, here he comes now. Come to see old Slice and Dice, huh? I wouldn't go in there just now if I were you, Carl. Paula, is she? She's all right. Can't say the same for her girlfriend, though. That plate Ooh. glass window made quite a mess. I've got pictures if you want to see him. Uh, you're lying, Phil. Have you reached the verdict yet? I'm doing it! Yes, Your Honor, what is that verdict? We, the jury, find the defendant guilty. And the opposing jury? <laughs> Will the defendant please rise? Look, Emily Bronte. You have been found guilty of murder in the first degree as charged. Neat. I know I already heard that, but it still upsets me. She conveyed so much with just the look. Just that one single look. Yeah. In a related story, Paula Parkins picked a pack of pickled peppers. Sentencing next Tuesday, appearance by Gogo the Gorilla. Jam Productions. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Tuesday Sentencing. Be sure to tip your bailiff. Here come to me. Paula Parkins. Picked a pack. You of... have had all that money can give you, but that wasn't enough. Hmm. You became a thrill seeker with an overinflated ego. Ah. This thrill seeking became the one great thing in your life. Besides Sanchez. Piling one thrill on another until with every increasing intensity, you became much like the drug addict. With his continual... Uh, uh, drug taking. Increases of dosage. Until... Uh, something. The climax. A murder. To she kill... Was acted. For the love of killing. To kill for a thrill. Kill, 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 kill. The seeker comes from all walks of life. The rich as well as the poor. Hey, quit reading. I'm some here. Come from the home. A home where the parents are too busy in their own affairs. <sighs> Take time to teach their children. That's us, honey. The importance of self-restraint. Oh, think you really captured us. Self-discipline. Politeness. Mm. Courtesy. The love for the mother and the father. The church. Your mustache is falling off, sir. Their country. <laughs> it all adds up to that one great essential of living. Ironically, this is still funnier than night court. <laughs> and regard for the property and feelings of others. It threw this utter disregard for life stay itself. Stay awake. Must the stay awake. The seeker finds his eventual end. A prisoner of the state. You're mad, are you? Standing in a courtroom, convicted of murder mm -hmm. in the first degree. Yep. Look, I gotta get going on my life sentence. Speed it because up Because of your youth, Paula Parkins, it's impossible for me to give you the sentence you so rightfully deserve. So you get the spanking machine. You are hereby machine. mandated to the proper institution. Me. Until you become 21 years of age. Then we party. Woo. At which time you will be transferred to the state penitentiary for women. And get a shave while you're at it. Where you will spend the rest of your natural life. How's that sound? Hmm. Oh, sure screwed up on that, daughter, huh? Yeah, I feel kind of bad, I have to admit. You know, it's actually a very nice sunny cell. Hmm. From one prison to another. <laughs> it's uh, too late to spend time with her, isn't it? I don't think I could drink another cup. 
It passes the time. You think I look like Lincoln, honey? It's all my fault. If only I hadn't thought more of my outside interests than I did of Paula. It's okay if I think it's your fault, too, isn't it? Strong, hard lesson we've been taught. Live and learn. It's more your <laughs> fault than it is mine. We're certainly a fine pair of parents. Good. We still have each other. That's some comfort. That's supposed to be funny? It all seems like such a bad dream. Oh, like when you're naked at a hockey game. Ever since I can remember, we've given Paula everything. Everything but real love. And peanut butter. A new dress, instead of a caress. A new car. Instead of instead a cigar. Instead of a heart, heart talk. A new watch. Instead of a squash. It does no good to look back. It can only be more of a hurt. We must now look forward. Let's get a goldfish. Using the past only as a pattern of judgment for the future. Paula's lesson to us was strong. Instead of a thong. Her child will profit by our mistakes. By the way, you seen her lately? I haven't had a chance to get up there. All the work I got and everything. You can only stay for a minute, right? And what's our excuse? Well, hi, Peggy. Uh, pe po poops to Paula. <laughs> That's it. Paula. How do you feel, darling? Good. Real good. I don't want my baby in a place like this. I don't. Don't. I don't feel so well. Everything keeps going around. Oh. We'll see Judge Clara. We'll take care of everything. Come on, let's go. Let's just go. Come on. If only we knew who... Everything will be all right. And my rape victim refuses to come to Lamar's classes. Well, how's our little gun-toting trollop? Shh. That's all now. It's time you were leaving. I'm afraid she's passed away. Rest easy now. It'll be all right. We'll see you when it's, when it's all right. Yeah, sometime after Memorial Day, maybe. Look, I'll uh, send my secretary to see the baby. She's got a room on the 400th <laughs> floor. Regrets, I've had a few. So what? Hey, what's your deal? Jeez. Leave us out of bed. Here on Surgery Boulevard. Ding off at three, that's all I'm saying. Maybe I could fund this as a charity event. It's your fault! <laughs> now, I'm going to be a bit ugly, so you'd better sit down. Wow. How many arms did she have when she came in here? The baby? Pearl is well and healthy. My daughter. How is she? I broke her. Sorry. She... she died. <gasps> well, so the life sentence wasn't really that long. Not too bad. Oh, no, easy to do. Pretty good. Some people think newspapers exaggerate juvenile crime. We don't. Can we go? Or that it's confined mostly to large cities. Oh, dear God. This is far from being the case. From coast to coast, in small communities as well as the larger cities. Even Circle Pines. Juvenile delinquency is on the rise. I'm playing fast and loose with my numbers here. No child is inherently bad. Except Polly Shore. Made what he is by his upbringing and his surroundings. And his inherently bad parents. Thus apparent that something has gone wrong with the environment of a great many of these children. Or we wouldn't Sleep. have this present delinquency problem. Adults create the world children live in. And in this process, parents play the key role. When children grow oh, up among oh. adults who <sighs> refuse to recognize anything that is fine and good or worthy of Respect. Well, there's a little joke in Leviticus. No wonder that says, uh, many of these children fail to develop high moral standards or to distinguish right from wrong. Why don't you wrap it up, Judge Pedantic? Come on. Up in two callous words. Boring. So what? Mm -hmm. 
juvenile delinquency mm -hmm. is always rooted in yep. Yep. adult delinquency. Yep. Why don't you shut up? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Higher moral values. Can we hope to solve the problem? Uh, look, we're double the parked. The easiest <laughs> way to bring this about is through a return to religion. Whoa! Excuse me. Separation of church and state. Would join this back to God movement and train their children to Whoa. respect the Ten Commandments or beat the love of other Jesus moral into them. laws laid down by all the great religions. Your Catholicism, your Polygma to of Thornton Eight. <laughs> but the time has come that. We must impose we had a picture of the smiles we left behind against the young lawbreakers to protect I, I was again law-abiding. His mere youth is no excuse for letting him remain at large. Some young criminals are just as vicious and dangerous as older criminals, lawbreakers. But some crimes are good. Oh yeah. No young offender should be released in the custody of his parents. Unless an investigation shows oh the parents are... <laughs> I can't see this scene too many times. Oh. If they are not, his supervision should be entrusted to a more responsible agency. Booze and jammies don't mix. And in making parents financially liable for right. property damage caused by their children <laughs> could be especially helpful wow. against the wave of vandalism sweeping across our country. Oh. Even this adorable vandalism. With this responsibility, we're sure that parents would keep a closer eye on the kind of fun their children Think are fast, having. Think fast, window. And that the old-fashioned woodshed would receive more use and Jeez. vandalism would decline. I have no real proof, but it's worth a try. What the hell? Some parents refuse to recognize the moral obligation Count the child they bring <laughs> into the world. Wow. When that is the case, must take stronger measures to make them realize their responsibilities. Oh, my body. So you see, I cannot possibly grant you a request for the adoption of the child of your daughter. The child must remain a ward of the state. A birth ward. Until such time as a suitable family can be found. At that time, the child will be granted to this worthy family to be brought up in the world as it should know the world. The warm glow of a state home. For you, Jane Parkins. Take this man to be your... And for you, Carl Parkins. Promise to love, cherish, and obey. I can only feel the deepest of sorrow. I sentence you to my Toastmasters meeting. Hey, 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 where are you two going? Will all the jerkwads please report to the bathroom? <laughs> Thank you. Tonight on the Hollywood Squares. <laughs> hmm? Oh, man, man, man. I'm an infant. I'm an infant. Give me everything. Boy, fun, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this was the feel-good movie of 1956. Audience is left with a song <laughs> in their hearts and a smile on their faces. Oh, oh, what are they doing? Uh, I think they're recreating the gas station holdup from the movie. Oh, let's watch. Huh. Wow. Was it exciting in the movie? Nope. Well, was it funny? Nope. Oh. Well, uh, maybe we better read a letter, huh? Oh, a letter, <laughs> sure. <laughs> hey, that's a good idea. <laughs> well, it just happens oh, to be hey, one right here. Look at this. Uh. It's an invitation what? from a high school graduation oh. commencement to us. Cambot, put that on Stillster, will you? Thanks. What's it say there? Oh. Once a driller, oh, always he's a driller. 
Is that dirty? Uh, it depends on what books you read. Well, it's from Eliza F. Reed of Bakersfield, California. The senior <laughs> class of Bakersfield High School announces its commencement exercises on Thursday, the 9th of June, 1994, mm. at 7.30 mm. in the evening at Griffith Field. Oh, that's a nice field. Lovely place, but I tell you, <laughs> your grandchildren will be graduating before we could make it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, so, hey, something's going on. Ah, Ooh. Beautiful, it's beautiful. Down to you, madman! Fantastic. You see, it's a radio station called Frank. Rarely is a radio station named after a person, and when it's given a solid name like Frank, well, it becomes campy and endearing. <laughs> Why, Nona! Vince Gill! Berlin Husky! Roger Miller? Oh, fine. Don't turn your cranks to Frank, you stupid fatheads. Tex Ritter. Pat Buttram. Slim Whitman. Hank Snow. Marty Robbins. Nancy Walker. Sonny Burgess. Jack Hammershaw. Donna Fargo. Crispin Glover. C.W. McCall, Zom Fear, Barbara Mandrell, Maury Povich, Coco Chanel, Ernest Tubb, Larry Storch, Jerry Lee Lewis, Edward Everett Horton, Gentleman Jim Reeves, Boss Jim Geddes, Mrs. Miller, Karen Valentine, Stonewall Jackson, Charlie Pride. So, 